This is the Shimbal Zolink 1000 and we are going to make an unboxing, in-depth review, spec talk, range field test outside and get to understanding if this system is made for your production. I'm your host Mauro and let's get straight into this wild 1000 feet range test. In every wireless transmission system statement, you have a range 100 meters, 200 meters, 300 meters. Well, this wireless transmission system from Shimbal, the ZO1000, has a 1000 feet of range or around 350 meters. And we are out here in the mountains with my rigged Alfa Romeo Spider to test the Simpson out on the first corner. And it will be around 350 meters. So let's get straight to this test. And, yep, sitting down, getting ready to start. I will apologize in front because my zoom recorder stopped recording and I will be using and switching to the camera sound that was picking up my voice and sometimes the wind was too loud so I will be switching and skipping that part and I will skip to the audio that's actually good to listen. Note that, let's get back into the test. And we are off. It's a beautiful winter day with just around 5 to 6 degrees outside but it's perfect for this test and sorry for the wobble I have this on a tripod bolted on with my seat belt not the perfect thing to do but well you have to do it just like that and we will see if we get some interference connection because we should really not have any interference the wireless transmission system is outside of the roof so we have a clear line of sight and yes i will be turning the car just right now and get back to check if we lost the connection and if we can get a better result with a different setting well we are now behind the wall and we are actually not anymore in the line of sight so we should actually lose an actual footage cut at the line of sight being behind the corner and that's more than around 400 meters and that's actually really impressive well there is nobody out there but let's keep it safe and get back to the camera and actually understand sorry for this mismatch the footage came back online very quickly after a get on line of sight at a distance of about 400 meters and the video transmissions continues without any problems. As you can check from my footage, after approximately 350 meters, the footage is stable without any interruptions and actually well beyond that point. The latency is stated to be 8 milliseconds, but this will also depend on the HDMI or SDI latency and the camera that we are using. We have to add some HDMI latency and transmission long range distance latency so this in HDMI mode will be around 0.2 seconds to be more precise. And that's actually not bad. In the box we'll find the transmitter and the receiver with the included antennas, 5 of them, cause you get one as a spare one, instruction manual and one USB-C to USB-A cable. This system is actually HDMI and SDI capable, so you can actually use SDI or HDI and we'll get one HDI in and in port for the SDI and on the receiver you will get one HDI out and one SDI out. When actual double monitoring option, well you can actually use your monitor double output option if it has it. The system can be powered via 5 volt USB-C cable using a power bank, wall charger or any type of USB-C power source or using decadent MPF Sony battery slot on the back. As the rated power consumption of this system is only 4 watts, this will ensure you that you will be able to use the system a whole day with just a slightly bigger MPF battery. On the bottom you'll find just one one quarter screw mount. In the front there is an octagonally shaped OLED screen where you can control and check the connection with the channel control and type of transmission. You're also able to check the best channel and skip the one with higher interference. 
you will be also able to change your language and check the version. There's also a smartphone app available so you can use this system to actually wirelessly monitor with your smartphone app acting as a monitor. In this case I am an Android user and the smartphone app is only available for iOS users. So you will be able to monitor on an iPad or an iPhone. Well, I will skip this part because I am an Android user. This system is also UAVC live streaming enabled. So yes, you can take the feed from your camera, put it into the transmitter and actually get the live streaming option straight into your computer connected via the USB-C cable. And actually opening OBS Studio, you will be able to live stream with this system just using it as a live streaming option straight from your Sony or any other camera that you are using without having actually that option in your camera. Great additional option. After a couple of days of testing this, these are my final thoughts. The system is really reasonably priced and basically designed to give you an excellent range with minimal power consumption. The dual power operation mode is great. The added features are welcome, but I'm really sad that they didn't include a double HDMI in and out option and also the OLED screen is really dim. It should have been brighter for outdoor usage. In studio scenario is good, but once you get outside there is little or no way to check anything on the screen. This part is worth noting if you are setting it up on the go. And also there should be an Android app matched with this system. And also a great point, there is no fan inside, so this is completely noiseless. And yes, this is why it gets actually a lower power consumption and it gets kind of hot. Not too hot, but you can feel that it's actually doing the job. If you have any questions, feel free to comment down below, I will be happy to answer all of them. Until my next one, thumbs up if you liked it, subscribe with the bearing icon to get notified every time I make a new video and see you on my next one.